Welcome everyone. My name is Annie Rodriguez. I'm the Director of Instruction out here at the Quarry in beautiful Naples, Florida. And today we are out here on the fourth green, beautiful sunny day, and we're going to be talking about our backswings and how to generate power. So what I see a lot out here is people trying to emulate what they see on TV. So those huge backswings, right? Um, and unfortunately, a lot of us are not as flexible as the people on TV. So we're trying to get the club to go really far back to generate a lot of power. When, if we're not flexible enough, we actually start breaking down our swing. We lose connection. So instead of keeping those arms straight, we're getting way up here, breaking our arms down. Then we have to kind of throw the club back, come across it and we lose a lot of distance by taking too much of a backswing. So what we're gonna concentrate on is on our takeaway, keeping our left arm pretty straight. We're only gonna lift our arms up as about as high as our chest, but we're actually gonna allow our hips to open up so we don't put so much pressure on our lower back. What I don't like to see is people keep their hips still, arms up as high as they can, then we start to get what we call this S posture, a reverse spine angle, puts tons of pressure on your lower spine. So we're gonna reach back, arms only as high as your chest, but actually allow that hip to open up, which is gonna help you with your back turn. Um, you'll actually start to see if you practice this, you get a lot more distance just by keeping your body connected. So on the downswing, everything's moving as a unit as opposed to one piece and the next piece. So, when you come out and practice, I like to just try to do the backswing a few times first before I'll swing. So nice and slow, arms out in front of my chest, allow the hip to turn. Again, not going back too far. I don't want to break down and lose my connection. So reach back, let the hips turn, and then I'll try to hit one. So you can hit the ball a long way without making too big of a swing. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, come find me at the quarry and I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. Thank you.